Stock fells have grown significantly in South Africa and continue to remain resilient during the pandemic and tough economic times. For decades, stock fells have played a significant role in encouraging a culture of saving while helping members improve their financial well-being. But sometimes large withdrawals around the festive season have placed some members at risk. Let's speak now to Sviso Nkosi, who's the FNB Stock Fells and Group Savings Head. Sviso, good evening to you and thank you so much for your time. It's a conversation that we often have around this time. I mean, it's a concern that many people are making large withdrawals during this time. As members of this, you know, Stockfells are waiting to split their money that they've been saving the entire year. I wonder then, as you, you know, know of this reality, how can you advise them to do so safely? I think after what's been a very tough two years for South Africa and the world and all of our members, I think the very first thing we want to make sure is that those that have had the uh, ability to put money aside, uh, we need to make sure that they're kept safe as they now reap the rewards of putting money aside. So I think amongst the many things we speak about is how do we use digital banking to make sure that we enable savings groups or stock files as we know them. Uh, to make safe deposits. And I think uh, digital banking remains the best way to do it. How do we pay members to their specific accounts without needing to carry cash? And I think that's the very first uh, piece of advice that we always have is let's make use of digital channels, whether that be mobile banking, uh, the app or online banking, we can make sure that there's no need to, to carry money. I think as we look to what else is possible, uh, some members unfortunately still do want cash uh, for whatever reasons. And for those members, we need to make sure that they do it in a way that is safe to them. So we always advise that uh, we've got three or more representatives going to withdraw money on behalf of the stock file without making any announcements on social media because we know that's where the fraudsters are and are looking to actually take money from um, hard-end savers that have put money aside throughout the whole year. Mm, and I, I wonder also, you know, for those that, as you say, are preferring to have large sums of cash for whatever reason. Others are saying that maybe their accounts are not in good standing, so they wouldn't want money to then be sent to those accounts and all of that. But how would you advise someone to safely then go inside a bank and withdraw this money and then go and meet with their members to be able to then split some of the profits that they would have made. How safe can it be for one to go and withdraw inside? I think given the reality that some members still do need uh, access to cash, we then have to look at what is the best way to do it. Mm. Every stock file has uh, signatories or uh, administrators that are tasked with making sure that banking for the group goes well. For those signatories, we advise them to uh, go uh, withdraw the money. However, make sure that it's not announced to members or even to anyone else on social media. This ensures that there can be no one else who then follows uh, and tries to take advantage of those savings. Over and above that, we also have to look at other things, such as uh, not withdrawing uh, on high um, pressure days, such as weekends, where we do see a lot more robberies occurring versus any other day. So it's almost mitigating the risk uh, that is inherent with saving in a group. If digital banking is not a reality, then we look at other ways, such as making sure that all of us as administrators go on the same day. We make sure that we stagger the withdrawals so they don't happen over one day. I think what that does is it ensures that there's no uh, one person carrying a large sum of cash that can be taken in one setting. But over and above that, I think it's then making sure that uh, whenever we are transacting on behalf of the group, we, we keep the group's needs uh, ahead of everything else and we make sure that we keep the money as safe as possible. So uh, th there are some of those who are concerned to say that signatories can go together and they can be safe and they can put all these systems in place, as you say. But others are saying that maybe it's an inside job that someone at the bank or maybe the teller that is assisting them may then be calling some people to then you know corner them and describe them have you had a situation then where you know how do you handle it especially if it turns out that maybe it's an inside job not only from the stockfall side but could potentially be from the banks because there are these allegations that continue to be in the public domain sometimes 
Very fortunately, Bongi, uh, the feedback that we've received is that uh, whenever members have had an unfortunate incident of fraud or any robbing, it hasn't been anything that has been initiated from uh, anyone associated with the bank or any mm. financial institution. Mm -hmm. I think the majority of it comes from Stockfile is such a well-known savings platform uh, that people actually start knowing what to look out for, such as any announcement on social media, as, as we've spoken about, mm. or people that are actually gathering together before going to the bank. And I think that is the precise reason why we always say, let's make sure that when it's withdrawal day, no one knows except the administrators. And for the rest of the members, they will get the surprise of having their hard-earned savings plus the interest that they've earned throughout the year uh, being delivered to them. One way that we do address this is, is what we've spoken about. How do we make payments directly to members' accounts? And that will always be number one. Mm. But I think in the mm. absence of that, then we can always say that as long as the three members that are tasked with transacting on this particular stock file account are in close contact and making sure that no one else knows, then we know that that takes care of almost 90 to 100 uh, percent of all the possible fraud that can happen. Sviso, you know, cyber crimes are becoming more and more sophisticated. Are there any concerns that maybe um, you think members of Stockfells should also have around this? And which scams can they look out for, for, you know, also for them not to fall prey to some of these phishing criminals? Absolutely. I think we speak of digital banking and we think of a fail-proof way, but we do know that there are cyber uh, criminals and instances of money being stolen uh, over uh, online banking. So I think the advice that we give to our members and our customers always is that we will never send you a request for you to confirm a PIN or login details. That should be a red flag and a telltale sign to say that there's something that is untoward that is happening on this particular account. Over and above that, I think what's also super important with doing online transactions is um, we need to be connected to a a data or Wi-Fi source that we trust. So when you go to an internet cafe, as an example, it's a public uh, domain, meaning that some cyber criminals can find a way to try to track uh, login details. Therefore, whenever logging in to make such payments, let's ensure that it's in a private network, one that we can vouch for in terms of security. And in the event of a public network, let's ensure that nothing happens there unfortunately, because we know that there is a possibility always of something nefarious happening. Sviso, thank you so much for your time. And I do hope those who are going to be splitting money really heed that advice that you've just given them. Thank you so much. That was Sviso Nkosi. He's the FNB Stockfells and Group Savings Head. Time now to look at...